All right, welcome to Doom Michelle. Today, we're gonna cut up a strip loin. We've got a beautiful AAA New York strip. We're gonna take the chain off, I'm gonna show you how to cut it properly. So we've got two ends. This is the nerve end, that's where the sirloin is. And you've got the rib end. So that's the prime rib, Go, continues on the loin there. And this end is where the top sirloin is. And the tenderloin, if you're having T-bone steaks, will be on the other side of this. So it's all boned out ready to go. What we're going to start with is we're going to take off a little bit of where the bone was, put that into trim so nothing gets wasted here. It's going to go into our ground beef, but this is going to be a chewier part, so you want to make sure you clean it up. Take your nice sharp Victorinox six inch boning knife. Mine's a little worn down. I've used it for the last couple of years, so there's not much blade left on it. But when you find a good knife that you like, stick to it. All right, so once we start, we'll just square the end off a little bit. Anything that we square is going to end up in our grind as well. And I'll show you a beautiful back strap so you can see the nice marbling in it. Cut a couple of stakes. We'll go about half inch. Like I said, it's Canadian AAA. It's aged 28 days. So when we cut a little inch, we're gonna have a nice one for a special customer here. A little thicker. All right, just to show you how we trim them, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the strap off. It's the grizzly part at the top. You can see that's called the strap. So you're never going to be able to chew through that. So we'll take that off. That goes into the bone can. It's not really good for anything. You can have a nice, beautiful New York strip steak. Trim a little bit of fat. Want to have them nice and uniform. All right, when you've got your steaks ready to go on the grill, you put some of your Silver Fox steak spice on it. An amazing product. A couple of chefs have said it's the best steak spice they've ever used. It's a finer grind. Beautiful blend, seasonings. Just shake it on your steak, give it a little shot, both sides, front and back, throw it on your grill.